Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to use the array function on nest. The goal is to take individual elements from an array and join those values to another table. I hope you enjoy this video. The source code is available on my GitHub account. If you want to download the source code and follow along, that's cool. Or you can just type along with this video. Both ways, I have you covered. Here you can see a side-by-side -side view on how we are going to use the employee table and the proc save employee procedure. You can see that the table and procedure design is stored in the table pg underscore proc. Now button one, create the table employee. Notice on line 16, we will perform an insert statement into that table. At button number two, create a procedure proc save employee. Button 3, select several columns from the system catalog table pg underscore proc. Button 4, we're going to be looking at one of the fields pro arg names is an array that holds the names of the arguments of the procedure on line 10. And lastly, button 5, pro arg types is a vector that holds the numeric values of each of the data types we used on line 10. Hope this helps. Let's now highlight create table employee, hit the arrow button to execute, and now let's do the same command for our create procedure. When we query pg underscore proc for proc safe employee, notice we get the procedure name, the number of arguments, the argument names, the arc types as numeric values and the actual SQL that makes up the body of that stored procedure. That's what this top SQL statement does. Now notice that we're going to use on the argument names. We're going to unnest them and then I'm going to use an alias as F and this is the name that I'm going to assign to each value param name. Let's run this and see what happens. So notice that we have our procedure name proc save employee and then here's our pro arg names, that's a list, and then using unnest, it actually separated each one of these values into its own row. It's our first example. In our next example, we're going to be looking at the argument types, and notice the values are 1043, 1043, and 1082, and I pretty much use that same. I assign it to F, this would be my column name, and then I use it up here on top. Let's see what happens. And just as you as expected, this is our values, and this is the 1043. This is like your vector. And then we used unnest, and then unnest took each of these values and created its own row. Now, 1043 and 1082 do not equal varchar and date. How do we get those values? We will be joining with the table FG type and notice for the OID 1043 and 1082 I end up getting varchar and date. So you can see that I'll be using this table to actually do a join. In our last example, notice I'm doing an unnest on both of the columns that are of type array and vector and I'm an alias as F and then my field names are going to be parameter type ID and parameter name. Then notice I use them up at the top. So you got your parameter ID, you have your parameter name, and then when we join it with the table called PG type, notice I'm alias in that ST, I'm gonna get the type name. So look at this whole statement, let's execute that. And then notice we get 1043 is the varchar, 1043 varchar, 1082 is date. And there you have unnesting and joining. And there you have it team, how to unnest to create a row for each element in an array and then join it with another table. I hope you'll be able to use these how-to steps in your next program. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them below. And that's all I have, team. Until my next video, take care.